Over the last few months, I've had the opportunity to meet technicians around the country, and I always ask the groups the same question. Do you know what the term ADOS means? And I'm sorry to report that in many cases, the technicians don't. And what concerns me the most about this situation is the potential liability that shop owners and technicians are opening themselves up to. I'll explain more in today's edition of Service Done Right. This edition of Service Done Right is brought to you by All Data, a premier source of service information to the repair and collision professional. Learn more about the services All Data offers your shop by visiting www.alldata.com. ADOS is a generic term standing for Advanced Driver Assist Systems, and it all began with the first anti-lock braking systems, and now it's evolved into collision avoidance, blind spot monitoring, active cruise control, automatic emergency braking, and many more. The growth in ADOS started nearly 20 years ago, and the objective of these various systems is to reduce injury and fatalities that occur because of driver inattention. And they've done just that. Once I've clarified what ADOS means, a lot of technicians start picking up on what I'm talking about. So the next question I'd like to ask is, are they doing calibrations in their shop or performing related repairs to these systems? Typically, the answer is no. Next, I ask a series of questions, and I ask the technicians to keep their hands raised for every category they fit into. And the first question I ask is, do you do wheel alignments? The next question I ask is, do you do steering and suspension work? And the last question I ask is, do you replace condensers or radiators? Invariably, by the time I'm done, nearly every hand in the room is raised. And while their hands are still in the air, I tell them, whether you knew it or not, you are in the ADOS business. You see, all of these services and more that we perform routinely every day can affect the way the ADOS systems see the world around them. And anything we do to change that affects the ability of these systems to perform as they should. One example I use to illustrate what I mean is to consider the radar placement for the forward collision avoidance system. Typically located behind the front grille, it may be necessary to remove the radar assembly when replacing the condenser or radiator. Without fully understanding these systems, most technicians would simply unbolt the radar assembly, perform their replacement of the condenser or radiator, and then reinstall the radar assembly and complete their job. But the job is not completed, not quite yet. You see, even this simple repair could cause the front radar assembly to be off, even by a little bit. A shift as little as one degree, up or down, left or right, could have an effect on how the radar sees the road in front of it. Even a slight misalignment in the radar assembly is going to affect the information that it sends to the ADOS ECUs that depend on that information to work properly. Consider these few examples. What about an active cruise control system that reacts to the vehicles in the lane next to yours rather than the ones in front of yours? How about a lane keeping assist system that keeps tracking the vehicle to the right because it thinks it's drifting left? when actually it's tracking nice and true. And last but not least, what about a front collision avoidance system that applies the brakes too early, or worse yet, too late? The step that's missing from that simple condenser or radiator replacement job is the calibration of the forward-facing radar once the vehicle is back together again. Not only is this going to affect how the ADOS systems, depending on that sensor, operate, it can also leave you and your shop open to potential liability. And that is the focus of today's video. How to avoid putting yourself into a position of liability that you might easily avoid. 
All data has long been known as a premier source of OEM service and repair information covering all makes and models. It provides you with all the resources you need to fix the vehicle properly the first time. Included are service and repair procedures, diagnostic trouble code definitions and criteria, TSBs, wiring diagrams, and a whole lot more. Just enter the vehicle information as you would normally. From the home screen, you can type the term ADOS in the search window at the upper right of the screen, or easier yet, simply click on the ADOS Quick Reference link under Information. The ADOS Quick Reference section is intended to be a general guide to ADOS components, their location, and their calibration requirements. It does not get into as-built data, so some models will vary based on trim level and options selected by the customer. The guide has three viewing options, location, component, and system. The first two are very useful when determining whether or not a requested service or repair may involve an ADOS calibration. Let's use this 2022 Toyota as our example and that condenser replacement that we talked about earlier is the job that we intend to perform. You can see from the location section the front grille is listed and the affected part is the millimeter wave radar sensor. The chart indicates that a static calibration will be required if that component is removed or replaced. Wheel alignment is also listed, indicating that the procedures should be reviewed for more detailed information regarding any calibrations that may be needed. And clicking on the hyperlink takes you to the detail page. And the pages are easy enough to access that they can be done right from your service counter so that you can advise your customer before you even agree to take on the job if any additional work is going to be required. Performing a repair that involves an ADOS calibration in the process and not performing that calibration opens you to liability for not restoring that assist system to its fully functional state. The general guide here helps you avoid that by giving you a list that you can easily access and know ahead of time whether or not the repair you're going to make for your customer will require such a calibration. Thanks for watching.